Now, welcome to another edition of News from Naboo, the Weekend Ramble edition. And what is our topic this week? Well, we've got Kenobi approaching. So on Twitter, we're seeing some of the old old uh, arguments coming back up that I kind of find a little odd. The ones that are all saying that either A, Satine is still alive, or, okay. or B... She and Kenobi have a child. The quirky theory. The quirky theory. It's even the Ray theory. They're still they're still oh, saying that well, she's I, a Kenobi I, somehow. Well, I don't think that's. I did a video on that just yesterday of talking about. I don't think that's influencing Twitter, but I don't. I don't think that's a possibility. I think it could have well, been a if, fun if possibility. If you watch the movies, you know that she's not. Well, yeah. I mean, it gets hundred percent confirmed in the film. She's not a Kenobi. Unless. Well, unless it was. Well, her. Unless Palpatine's. Clone Palpatine's cloned son met, met their daughter. Yes. So she's a Palpatinobi. Palpatinobi. Oh, Palpatinobi. No. Why not? At this point, right? At this point, why not? No, but I, I have seen the people saying Satina. It's it's a handful. It's not like this large movement within the fan base. I don't think, and I'm I'm not sure if they're being serious or they're, if they're just trying to kind of poke the bear to get a reaction out of people, kind of deal. But I mean, Satine is dead. I mean. Dead, dead. Not one of those like, oh, she kind of died off screen. There's this you know, like, not a mace window, be, not a mace window, you know, falling out the window kind of deal. Where oh, did he land on his feet and get away? Kind of thing, <laughs> which is possible, but I think it's supposed to be implied he died. We just don't show him smacking into the pavement, and you know, that's it's just not gonna not gonna work really well in Star Wars to show Windu hitting the pavement and just oh. splattering. Unless a car happened to be driving by right then and he fell into it. Hey, Anakin jumped out a window into a speeder, so why didn't Windu get on the speeder too? Why not? I mean, it's it's possible. The Force works in mysterious ways. Yes, it does. But, no, I, I mean, I think, clearly, Satine is dead. No chance of coming back. As the, for the, the arguments get irrational, though. Immediately, like, well, we saw Darth Maul come back. Maul came back. You know. Yeah. Well, Maul came back. I mean, Boba Fett has come back. Palpatine has somehow has returned. Back, yeah. I mean, Maul is, you know, Maul kind of opened Pandora's box because the, the thing with Maul is it was done really well. I think most people, even if you don't like the idea of dead characters coming back, you have to say to yourself, well, they, they did a heck of a job with them, didn't they? Mm-hmm. I mean, if you, if you don't dig into the expanded universe and learn more about Maul, he's just in The Phantom Menace, he has like three lines and then he dies. And it's like, he was... By far the most, well, I don't know about by far the most, but he was certainly a highly, highly anticipated character going into that film, into The Phantom Menace. People were so excited. What is he, you know, this is kind of our first Sith outside of, you know, in the films outside of Palpatine and Vader. And, you know, what's he going to be like? What's he going to do? And then he doesn't do much but die. I mean, he looks cool doing it. but He does look cool. Yeah. So I think there, were, there was this opportunity there to bring this character back and really explore him in Clone Wars and then in Rebels and... You know, he kind of gets that cameo in Solo, and mm-hmm. of course, the expanded universe digs into him a lot more. But it, it worked really well, extremely well. Well, and, it, and it's not like they decided to pop him back up in live action in another movie somewhere and then had to go back and explain it. Satine started out as a Clone Wars character. Yeah. Her popping up in Kenobi is going to raise some eyebrows. People are going to go, well, well, who's this? It would be just so weird. It would—it's just so unnecessary. I don't know that. I mean, you could do flashbacks. I'm all f- flashbacks to mm-hmm. Satine because then you can kind of relate it to Anakin and Padme, and you can see that. You know, if you've never seen Clone Wars, you can see, oh, there's, you know, maybe he would have understood what Anakin was going through because Kenobi, you know, lost he, someone. He not that he well, cared he lost for. someone. Yeah, he definitely lost someone. He died too, but I mean that he gave her up. He made, though. In, in reality, he didn't because he said he would have left the order for her, but. <laughs> So it's kind of a tricky thing with Kenobi because he, I think he would have. I think he was seriously would have. You know, I think he loved Satine and would have left the order for. Her, Which but he wasn't. At least might have shown Anakin a path. Yeah. That he could just leave the order and he doesn't have to turn dark side to try and save her. And yeah. Maybe then they would have talked. Maybe he would have been like, you know, I'm going to seek Kenobi out. You left the order for the one you loved. Let me tell you about what I've got going on. Yeah, and Kenobi would probably tell you to leave the order too. I mean, that's the thing. There was there was another option for Anakin. And I understand he's the chosen one. He he may have felt a, he may have felt a sense of responsibility to stay and to fight in the Clone War. I mean, he didn't want to just leave the Clone Wars too, right? He's not mm-hmm. you know he doesn't want to think of himself or have others think of him as this coward who didn't want to fight and try to protect the galaxy. So I understand there's a lot of things on Anakin that he can't just 
walk away from the order during a war and all these things or being the chosen one and the Sith are back. So, yeah, it's it's tricky for him, certainly. Well, and Satine's death had a lot of impact on Kenobi, on his character, on who he is. Oh, it was a huge... I, I, you know, it. what I love about the moment is like how Obi-Wan handles it. He doesn't let it destroy him, yet you know on the inside it is destroying him. Mm-hmm. It is one of the best moments in Clone Wars for me because that is... That is classic Kenobi, right? He's just, he handles his business. And she dies heart-wrenchingly in his arms. Yeah, right in his arms. You know, this guy he thought he killed all these years ago that he sliced in half has come back and now, you know, just destroyed his world. Yet he's, he holds it together. And he's like, no, I'm not going to let you know that you just destroyed me. I'm holding, you know, I'm going to hold it together. Even though, you know, inside he's just devastated. As to why she can't still be alive, like we said, she was literally stabbed with a lightsaber (laughs) through the chest. Yeah. She died in his arms. He's dragged away. What happens to her body? body? I mean, I'm not... It's not in control of good people. No, it's not like Maul who fell down a shaft and then was kind of on... No one... Well, he was sustained by his force... Anger, yeah, dark well, side sure. power. She does not have this. She's, yeah. So I'm, I'm assuming the, the Mandalorians, the, the loyalists to Maul, are not going to, you know, they're not going to do anything weird to her body, I hope. But they're not going to, like, you know, Bring let's, her back. let's have a, you know, let's they take her, her to the medical facility and make sure. No, they're probably going to dispose of her body. Right. In a they very wanted uns- her dead. Yeah. In a very she represents un- a Mandalore they don't like. I know. I'm just saying they're going to dispose of her body in a very unceremonious way, right? More than likely. More than likely. So she's, you know, she's. They're going to know she's dead. They're going to toss her in a ditch, essentially, I'm assuming, and she's not going to come back to life. No. I, I feel that there's no chance. And it's just, every time I, you know, scroll down my Twitter and I see something like that, and they sit there and defend it, like, people are like, you know, she's not coming back. And they're like, well, this person came. I'm like, you, you switch the rational part of the brain off? Yeah. No. I know we want, that there's, there's a want within the community for... Kenobi to find love and happiness. And, but he doesn't. That's But he's a, he is a Jedi, mm. and he has upholded his code. Yeah. Though I would, like I said, if, if there was ever a time where he broke the code, it would be on Tatooine, I think. I don't think him and, and that's the, the quirky, you know, theory, is that while they were on the run for a year, that there must have been a night, or maybe a couple nights, I don't know, maybe Kenobi was, you know. But anyway... That, you know, that he is the father and she's the mother. I And that she hid it from him. Yeah, and that she really kept Corky out of her life as well. I mean, that would be her son. Mm-hmm. I don't know. that. Which, it's hard to do that when you're a political figure. Yeah, I would because imagine. someone would dig the... That's the thing, like... She you had would, people who hated her. Yeah, someone would have dug into it and found the dirt, right? You right. Think? I mean, Corky wasn't even exactly hiding in the shadows either. He was no, out he public. Was... I mean, people who... Would be like, oh, well, hmm. I mean, that's her nephew. Yeah, then we don't know who Corky's parents, parents are. are cause because it's we not, know her sister. And her, it's not bo It's not no. bo child. So, so we have to assume they have another sibling. S- sibling, brother, sister, yeah. Or she kind of, you know, dotes on him and he just calls her aunt. I don't know. I mean, He could possibly. be from just like a high, wealthy, you know, noble family that she's friends with. And she knew him since he was a child, so maybe he just... The honorary aunt title does come into play. People use it these days. Sure. But, I mean, when it is royalty, I don't know that you're going to have... I mean, because it, it does seem like he's, like, officially known as her, you know, nephew. But we don't know much about him. I don't think that means, you know, secret love child, but... No. I, I think that's pushing the boundary. Yeah, that's another one of those, wouldn't it be cool, but doesn't make any sense kind of things. Right. And I can't imagine Satine... She, I mean, Keeping it from Obi-Wan, keeping too? Keeping it from Obi-Wan... That's just not right. But then again, she wasn't going to let him leave the order either for her. Yeah. Well, she is all about duty and you know, responsibility. So, who but knows she what she would push would... off her own child for duty and responsibility <laughs> for a different I, type. I, I don't I know. Don't know. I, don't... I mean, she could easily have kept the child with her and at least and in, in lied to him and said it was somebody else, you know, or you know, got married or something. I don't know. I don't think Corky is. No, I don't, I don't think Obi Wan deserves a better child than Corky. Anyway. <laughs> I said it. Wow. Yeah, I Harsh. went there. I know, but it's true, and I think people will agree with that. Come on, he's no Kenobi. Corky Kenobi? No. No. For one, the name. For two, he's not a Kenobi. And if they had another child, I just can't imagine. I can't imagine Satine pushing her child away. 
No, she doesn't seem like the type. She I would guess. be the person who would be teaching them to be the next ruler of their planet, the next pacifist ruler, if she of had Mandalore, her way yeah. of Mandalore. So I just, there's no way. There's no way. No right. logical way. No, I, I agree. She would have had to have a had a daughter though, because isn't Palpatine's son? If to make the Ray, oh, we're going to go about, all the way to, to the Ray theory. Oh wow, we're going. We're going to if you go all out. the way to the Ray theory, it would have had to be a daughter. Corky would have to have a daughter. Corky would have to have a daughter. A lot of strange math there. I think we're going to learn more about the Palpatines. I mean, I know their names just came out. Yeah, in the Shadow of the Sith book. And that they're right supposedly now. both of their names together are playing on Dathomir or something. Oh, that's cool. Like her name ends with Mir and his name starts with Dath or something. Oh. I how, can't I can't remember. How cool. Dath? Why Dathomir? I don't know. Oh. He doesn't have a huge attachment to the planet. No, he just stole them all from Dathomir. That's it. Yeah. Or made a deal with Mother Talzin. Really. Maybe people are just saying that there's a kind of, I don't know. Maybe it's just a similar coincidental, coincidental thing. Yeah. But no, I mean, it would have to be Corky would have to have a child. You have to have a point. child pretty young. A young, yeah. A, well, not pretty young. I mean, he'd have to have a daughter, and that daughter would have to go on to meet Palpatine's creation, the mm-hmm. clone of Palpatine, which we don't know when he's created or how he ages or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah, and then because Ray is twenty in the sequel, so she would be born ten years after the original trilogy. So I don't know when the Palpatine clone got made, honestly. Right? How does is it is it is it like some sort of flash clone where it's not exactly like a you know, a clone that is born and then... I mean, they we do have clone aging technology. Of course, we know that with the clone troopers. But I'm not sure how that all works out. Were they making Palpatine clones beforehand or... I don't know. All right, well, I think that's all we got for this time. Now, take to the comments below. Tell us what you think. Is Satine possibly still alive? No. <laughs> do you think Corky could be the son of... Corky Kenobi? Could he be the son of Satine no. and... Well, whatever you think, tell us in the comments below. Let's talk some Star Wars. And until next time, thanks for watching.